Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a Fancy Prince wet fly. But before I do that, I'd like to show you a new vise on the market. This is the Pueblo vise. It has a pedestal base. The shaft is a standard size shaft, so you can easily change it to a C-clamp. You could get them with a pedestal base or a C-clamp. The jaws are hardened steel. They are 100% made in the USA. The whole vise is 100% made in the USA in Pueblo, Colorado. You have thumb screws. These thumb screws are aluminum. They are designed to break before your jaw will break. So if you get crazy and over, over uh, tighten, you have a little bit of a safety there. It has very smooth rotating. The locking nut is very easily uh, managed. You have a crank handle or it also comes with a knob handle. This can be set up for left or right hand retrieve. You can see on here you have, there is a set screw. You would just loosen that up, take the vise out and turn it around. Then you would loosen these uh, Allen, Allen key screws and set it up for your left hand uh, tying. You can see here there is another Allen screw to us uh, when you assemble and at $200 this is a vise that can easily sell for several hundred more dollars. So now we're going to move in on the jaws here here I have a size 14 nymph hook simply put it in the jaws tighten the top thumb screw and just tighten it until it stops don't go any further then take the bottom thumb screw tighten that until it stops and then just give it another quarter of a turn and that is all you need the hook is in there nice and tight you're not going to lose it it can take hooks from size 24 or smaller all the way up through your largest size hooks to start this fly I'm going to use brown thread this is 70 denier I've been using the fancy prints or the prints nymph and I've been using it with a two fly rig and I was using it on the top and they were taking it so that means that fly was in the middle water column and so I'm going to make a fancy prints wet version no weight on it it's just going to be a wet fly we'll bring our thread back to the to where it starts to bend or where the barb would be if, when the thread is hanging. This just happens to be a barbless hook. I'm going to take golden pheasant crest for the tail and I want that to be about the length of the shank. Now we're going to secure that and we're going to trim the excess Now the Prince Nymph uses a tinsel for a rib. I like to use just a wire. I'm going to use a copper wire. You can use a stainless steel wire if you want silver. But I like to use a wire because I don't like to have all of that uh, flash in there. 
I think it takes away from the peacock hurl. Now for the body, I have two pieces of peacock hurl. And we're going to tie them in. And we're going to wrap them back to the tail and bring the thread up forward. Now I'm going to use my rotary feature of the vise. Very smooth. And quickly bring that right up to the front. Now we're going to go ahead and tie that off. And we can break off the excess. Now we're going to take that rib and we're going to counter wrap it, being the opposite direction that we wrapped our peacock curl. And we're going to tie that in. Go ahead and break that off. Helicopter it. Oh, extra fine breaks pretty easily. Now for our hackle, we're, I'm going to take a brown hen hackle. We're going to take the single hen hackle. I'm going to pull all of the fluff from the bottom. And then I'm going to take the hackle from the top of the feather. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers. I'm going to clip onto the front. And I'm going to pull all of that hackle towards the rear. I'm going to tie that on by the tip. Trim off the excess. And we're going to give this maybe two whole turns. Once. And twice. Bring it up. There is plenty of hackle on there. And we can break away the excess. Going to trim off those couple from the front. And I'm going to trim off a couple of these off the top. You can actually pick them off. Grab onto them with your hackle pliers. Now I'm going to take my goose quills and I'm going to cut my wings I'm going to size them we want them just slightly longer than the body I'm going to hold them in place we're going to give it a soft loop pull it straight down and when those fronts come up like that you know they're on top go ahead and trim away the excess Get that nice and close, if I can see. And then we're going to wrap that head.
take our whip finish. Give that the whip finish. Put a little bit of head cement on there. And here we have a fancy Prince wet fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.